Wars 34, we are in the pro division. It's a 73 kg bout. It's Tig Tiger Lenan making his professional debut in the red corner, taking on Ivan Blada, also making his professional debut. My knees and elbows to the head are legal in the professional realm. We have three five minute rounds as opposed to three three minute rounds. Lenada, he's fought on the high cards such as Cage Warrior, so he's used to. The environment, the big test environment, an excellent wrestler, but up against Tyg Lanan, he's against someone Phil that I don't think Tyg would mind me saying, I think he found his form late in his amateur career, he was really starting to become the better fighter and the, the look at his best, so moving to, to pro at the right time. He yeah, finished his amateur career by winning the Clam Wars super lightweight title, so he has that championship caliber, he has that championship mentality. Here he is against Lanata, who this is the position he wants to be in. This is where he absolutely wins a lot of his fights. He grinds on his opponents, mm -hmm. uh, gets, takes them down and beats them up. A 2017 and 2018 Irish national wrestling champion, so he has that wrestling ability. But Taglanan himself, you know, a strong wrestler with the BJJ blue belt. That's a low blow. Take your go. five minutes, Tyg. He is, Unintentional. He is entitled to a full, uh, a full five minutes to gather his senses again, so may wish to avail of that, but it's early enough in the fight that I don't think he needs to. Peter Lavery just asking Ivan just to pick your targets, watch your weapons. It's always interesting when you see fighters. Some fighters just shake it off and want to get back in there. I'd be, I'd be the type to say to a fighter, you've got your five minutes, fully utilize them. Well, again, it comes down to the ebb and flow of the fight. If you're in the ascendancy, you want to get right back in it. If perhaps you need to catch your breath, why not avail of the five minutes being offered? But back to the point with Tyg, you know, he finishes his amateur career winning the Cage Warriors title and then and then changed it up. But, you know, in his corner there with Ben Davis and, you know, training partner, it, it, I am seeing is he in the corner but it, it, coming from an excellent camp you can see Shell and MMA they really have stepped it up and Andres Binder is the same he had sort of made Tyg and, and Andres really found their, their style of yeah, fight off one another, yeah. Yeah. off one another and be, have become quality training partners for one another Andres Binder himself turning pro here in May and you can see Lenana, he wants to close the distance and really get in close and make Lenana work. Nice left hook there. Seems to have that right. Good take down there from Glenita. Tag closes the guard. And again, this is where Blanita wants this fight. This is where he does his damage. He just grinds on his opponents. And different, as you said, Phil, a pro fight. We've got five minutes to work, so plenty of time on the clock here. But good elbows from the bottom. That's what, that's what I was just about to say, Noel. Within the pro realm, you have those elbows which are so effective in positions like this that and you can't use an amateur. I think there's a cut there as well from the first elbow thrown. I'm just seeing some blood on the, the arm of Ivan. Good active hips here from Tag, but stepped across into half guard. Ivan Blanana right in front of his corner. Head coach Andy Ryan. He intelligently has that arm wrapped around the back of Tag and then is using that now to control the wrist. So if he's strong enough here, there's also potential for a one-arm Kimura. But right now he's using it just to just to take away one of the defensive limbs of Tag in this position. Punishing shots as well. The pro ranks, the gloves get smaller. We're in four ounce as opposed to the six ounce gloves used at amateur. Gloves get smaller, but the hicks get harder. And this is the type of fight that if you'd asked Ivan beforehand how you want this to play out, this is exactly the script he would have wrote down for you. Well, no, he probably would have said, I'll throw one punch and knock him out. But <laughs> apart from that, in the real world, this is the type of fight he wants. 
Again, fantastic imposition of, of that game plan. That stop, not necessarily not stalling, but forcing Tag. You know, Tag's the one expelling all the energy here. Nice short elbows on top here by Ima Granada. He's starting to wear on Tig Tiger Lenan. Again, he's creating, he's using the same arm as a post to create just enough space and then chop down with the elbow. Tag just trying to keep Lenan locked down. Credit must go to both men as well, worth mentioning, Phil. This is not an easy fight for Easy Man. Both of them on their pro debuts. So, unopposed to other sports, we won't name them. There's no real build-up in your pro career here. No, you go straight in. There's very little padding of, of records, as, as you say in other unnamed un sports. You go straight in with the best guys in the country. It's only when you prove your worth then that you start going international, but... Lenan looking to try and get out of here, but... Lenana, an excellent top game and top control. Potentially looking for a Kamara on the opposite side, Phil. If Tag is to get, he needs to open up that half guard. He seems to be locked down on it, but he needs to open up that half guard and try and shrimp that knee through and reclaim guard. Big elbows just to soften up. Lenan almost, he's still, I think he's still holding that wrist. He let go of it now, but Lenana, good, good ground and pound. And Tag has to open up the hips here and do something offensive because he's just hurt, he's, he's in defensive mode right now and, and that speaks volumes to the judges watching cage side. There we go, that's, that's good movement to get the guard back. And the covers guard and throwing the legs up, potentially looking, trapping arm here as well, but Ivan Milana not wasting any time to rain down some hammer fists, but a big opening round for the team, Ryan O'Man. Andy Ryan will be walking into that cage, a happy man, while Ben Davis will be walking in there. Now there's work to be done, some advice to be given. But both men have just done their first five minutes as professionals and Phil, what way did you see it? Well, the, the, the advantage has to go to Platini in that fight. He, he was able to, to establish a takedown and from there, he established, he established control. He held Taglanan in the position he wanted him and landed the point scoring strikes. Was able to frame with the same arm that he elbowed with. So Planeta and uh, Andy Ryan are bound to be much the happier men going into the second round here. Getting ready for the second round here at Clan Wars 34. We have a professional 73 kg belt. Ivan Blanana taking on Tyg Lenan. Back on their way. Lenan will feel he needs to shift the momentum. Potentially needs to keep this fight on the feet. He got to get off that cage as well. Correct, Noel Keith. He needs to. He needs to create a little bit of space. Lenan was starting to let his hands go as Lenan was up against the cage, but maybe a little bit of possum played there by Tyg Lenan. Opening up with the kicks. I'd like to see him set those kicks up a little bit with his hands. That's something you may be able to get away with in the amateur game, but you, you will not get away with that for long in the professional game. Nice inside leg kick and really takes the balance from Ivan Blanada, but he just resets and trying to put the pressure and walk down Tag Lanan. Tag Lanan changing stances. Expect the takedown, and I think that's why Tiger isn't thrown too much. He needs to circle off and get away from that cage, or he's going to end up in the same position. And he's in on a single, and good head position, and elbows here again can be utilized in this position. You've seen some funny knockouts most recently in MMA with that style downward elbow. Tiger trying to pummel in for his underhook. But again, it's, it's such intelligent MMA wrestling. He establishes the underhook and, and then just controls the body from there. Good head pressure as well from Juanita. Just making Lenan stand tall. Expect to change the levels and try to dump him again. There it is, Lenan trying to time it with a knee. He's in on the high crotch. Good balance from Tag. But the one thing with Banana Phil is that won't deter him. He no, won't be frustrated place. that he didn't get that takedown. He'll just go, okay, let's go back to it, changes it to a double leg and, and gets say, it to the mat. Yeah. See, that speaks to the type of training he's doing. It's, it's chain wrestling. If A doesn't work, you move to B. If B doesn't work, you move to C. Very intelligent. 
and that speaks to the volume as well to the amateur career both these guys had and you know pro if you looked at pro deb debutants in MMA 10 years ago they were very raw and very different to the elite fighters that are coming and now turning pro Granada slices beautifully and is inside control just looking to his corner for some advice looking to kick off the cage potentially Granada lovely top control look for him to posture or sorry frame and land those elbows the tag needs to turn in now and, and reclaim half guard and work from there he needs to turn on his hip he can't flat back in a position like this Juanita looking to isolate an arm perhaps pop that between his legs for the crucifix and he's really shutting down the game of Tiglin on here and it's something we spoke about in fights previous with, with game plans and how to win fights game planning mm -hmm. and, and that seems to be what's happening here again it's the game plan of Ivan Benela and it's human chess Phil it's I, I want you to do what I want to do and so far Ivan Benela has been making Tiglin and do what he wants him to do again and he's not leaving a lot of space between himself and Tag he's keeping the hips close to Tag he's keeping the hips low and any time there is just the littlest amount of space, he's using that to land a strike, as we see with the knees to the body. It's been about going knee on belly and in the mount. But again, look at the intelligence there. He was in danger of Tag reclaiming half guard, and he yeah. just slips back into the same position. He's in no rush because he's on top. He's in the dominant position. And again, that speaks to the experience. A lesser experienced fighter would have just tried to push through and being pulled back to half guard, but no, here we are in side control, landing short elbows on the chin of Ty Glenan. Impressive performance so far from the Team Rhino fighter. And Lenan, you can see Tag searching with his leg to try and hook for the half guard, but such intelligence again from, from Belenita just to be outside of the reach. There's some good defense. Like, Leonardo was going for Kimura there. Tig defended it. But unfortunately, all the good work that Tig has managed to do in this fight, a lot of it has been defensive. And all credit must go to his opponent for that. Ivan Leonardo is really showing high-level wrestling and positioning and top control. Tag Leonardo on bottom must be thinking, what do I need to do to shift the weight off this man? And that's where the finishes can come from, Phil, is... Tyke has to stay calm down there, not allow himself to get frustrated and to try and scramble and just try and make something happen and then give up an opportunity for Bernard to finish. But credit to Tyke, he's staying composed on bottom, although he must be incredibly frustrated. Smart work from Tyke there just to reclaim his guard. But a very, very dominant second round there from even Planita. Coming into the third and final round of this pro bout, Ivan Blanada, potentially, you got to think, Phil, two rounds up. Ty Glenan, desperate, desperate mode here. But as we've seen already tonight, fights can change on, on, on a, a, a misstep. Fights can change on, on one punch, one elbow. So Ty Glenan by no means out of this fight in the third and final round. If Tag is to be successful, he needs to be the one leading the dance in yeah, this Yeah, he round. needs to go first. I was just about to say that, Phil. He can't stand with his back against the fence, as we're seeing Planeta use his strikes to set up a takedown, and there we go. Good what you would call ring or cage generalship from even Planeta. Just using, using his footwork to press tag against the cage, use strikes, and then get the takedown. Double underhooks here, it's almost an inevitability of a takedown once you establish double underhooks. But it's the mental aspect of it as well, Phil, where... Ty knows the takedown is coming. He's trying yeah. to time it to defend it. And because he's thinking, defend, 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 it's stopping him from being offensive. And again, Blanada gets it down to the mat right in front of us here. Ty closes the guard. <laughs> trying to isolate an arm, just lock Blanita down. Right in front of us here in our broadcast position. Just posturing up now. He's doing well of posturing, landing his strikes, and then diving right back in the control tag on. 
Lalan has him in full guard, so look for the Lalan to try maybe trap an arm, get something, get a submission out of here, but he needs, easier said than done against the calibre that Ivan Lalan has been shown throughout. Yeah, he needs, he needs to open up the guard, shift the hips in, and try and set something up. Even get the feet on the hips and push away, create distance and stand back up. Because right now what we're seeing is a common theme that's run throughout this fight, through rounds one, through rounds two. Planeta using the strikes, establish the takedown and then the ground dominance. It sounds so easy, doesn't it? Use your strikes, close the range, take it down and control on top. And that is what he's done. That has been the blueprint of every round so far for Oymanana. But it is ultra impressive in how he's done it. Especially against somebody like Taglanan, who is one of the most game fighters. You see, as soon as Tag opens up the guard and shifts the hips ever so slightly, Planeta just follows, just follows, stays square, stays dominant. And again, I bring it back to the training partners he's rolling with in Team Rhino. And this is the bread and butter. This is the drills, the head coach, Andy Ryan, the jiu-jitsu that goes on out in that gym in Finglas. It, it, it's an absolute... It, it, it sort of gets overshadowed by SBG in some ways, Team yeah. Rhino. But Team Rhino was one of the leading founders of, of Irish MMA. Oh, without and, a shadow of a doubt, yeah. You know, as you've alluded to, you've got, you know, the likes of, likes of Reds, or you've got the likes of Miles Price down there. And now your new breed of young fighters coming up. Tag again, trying to open the hips, but plenty they're just shutting it right down. It's a fantastic illustration of what you would call for MMA shut down jiu-jitsu. You're not allowing your opponent who who's, who is in his own right very savvy on the ground, you're not allowing him to do anything. You're shutting down the hips. You shut down the hips, you shut down the offensive game of your opponent. Again, we talked about frustration for Tyg Lenan, and it's really got to be setting in now. All the training, all the hours to be nullified like this by your opponent must be incredibly frustrating for the Galway man. But much to his credit, he's still working. You know, a, yeah. a guy with lesser heart, a guy with lesser will, would have given up by now. Would have even put himself in a position to end the fight. But the Tag, old classic, give the back yeah. rear naked choke. But you see Tag still trying to work, still trying to isolate an arm, still trying to isolate a wrist. Time is running out and Ivan Banada is really showcased high, high level grappling here on his pro debut. This is incredibly impressive. He's turning up the, the volume here in the final stanzas of the fight. Tag with a short elbow from the bottom. And again, it's just a head position. Everything he's doing is step perfect in some ways. They're having a laugh and a little chat with each other. It's not really the time of the place for a little bit of a conversation. Short hammer fishing. He knows time is at him. His corner had told him 20 odd seconds, so he said, Let's land some shots. Got to be careful with the up kick. Tyg Lanan is still trying to win this fight, but it's just been nullified for 15 minutes by Ivan Lanida. An incredible performance by the team Rhino Man. His professional debut showcased world class wrestling and top game. But make no mistake, we're going to see Tag Lanan back in the cage soon. You know, he's, he's, he's lost nothing in this fight. It's a learning experience for him. But fantastic wrestling, fantastic ground control by Ivan Blanita. Inevitably on his way to a three-round decision.